and fans all across Kern County and really all across the world are sharing their memories of Merle Haggard today. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Batal is live at the Fox Theater tonight with more on that side of the story. Hannah. Well, Rochelle, it's no surprise that Haggard's death has impacted the community that he once called home. As you can see behind me, the staple of Bakersfield, Fox Theater, decided to pay tribute to the late artist in its own way. I'm joined here now by the man who made it all possible, Gilbert. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank now, you. Gilbert, uh, I heard you decided to, uh, while you were at work today, put this up as sort of a tribute to Haggard. Can you tell us what brought you to that decision? Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the least we could do. You know, our condolences to the family, and we... We decided we were we were talking. Um, we'd been in talking to some of the management uh, for the last month or so about getting Merle here in October, and we thought Mr. Haggard, we, we were he was always in our prayers for his health, you know. So this morning we were actually going across the street to see the World Trade Center piece at the fire station here, and Bob got a phone call saying, you know, that that Mr. Haggard had passed away, and we thought, oh my goodness, we. So we're walking back and his star is right in front of the fashionista. So as we looked at the star, I walked by and I thought, the least we could do is pay respects and put it on the marquee. He played here to a sold out crowd in 2014. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I saw him in 2006 and he actually played the Fox in, in 2013, I think, in Tucson. So we thought that's to do. So um, I hope I did Emily proud because she usually does the marquees, but I got up there and I put the harness on and we decided to put the marquee up and that's the least we could do to pay respects to. He, you know, he's such an icon. He is why one of the reasons why Bakersfield is on the map with the Bakersfield sound. So we were we were excited about him hopefully being here in October. So and you said you got a call from Merle's agent this uh, morning kind of delivering actually that the, news. The, the, the company that we deal with his name is Josh and it was part of the promoters that put together. So the team, the management team, and he called Bob this morning and, and said and said that Mr. Eggert had passed away. Uh, what does it mean to the team at F the Fox Theater to be able to sort of pay a tribute to one of the artists that really did put Bakersfield on the map like you said? Well, being such an iconic figure, the Fox Theater, it's 80, celebrating its 85th year, we just thought it was important. He, 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 made, he made Bakersfield sound, he, he put us on the map, and we just thought that's the least we could do. That's the least we could do was, was put it up there, so we thought we would put it up. All right, Gilbert, thank you again thank so you. much for joining us. We thank really appreciate so it. Thank so not only did it impact the community here, as always, um, but it impacted a lot of people from all across the nation. We caught up with them today, and this is what they had to say. Clark County, Washington, up around uh, Portland. I think it was about 93, 94. Oh, he, he always had the crowd in his hands and uh, reacted positive, and they, they all loved it. Filled up the stadium, so it was it was pretty good. I happened to be in California today because um, I'm a truck driver, and uh, when I heard that Merrill had passed away and I knew they had some memorabilia of his here, I had to come and, and see what they had. That last man you saw there, a truck driver from Mississippi just driving through the neighborhood like you heard him say. And he said that Merle Haggard's songs really spoke to him because he's, so, he's saying songs for the common man, for the working man. For now, reporting live in Bakersfield, Hannah Bata, Eyewitness News.